Hey guys, it's Nicole and I'm back with another workbook workshop Wednesday. This week we will be focusing on activities that you can use for spring, learning about seeds, flowers, plants, or Earth Day. So stay tuned. <music> This is a unit that we did this past week and we were going to continue it on this week. We've been doing plants and seeds, but I realized that Earth Day is actually coming up this week. So this would be great as a tie in to Earth Day. So again, I will list the um, resources for these printables below and also tell you how I came up with a lot of these activities, which are free or no cost or very low cost to you. So jumping in is the first one, uh, flower math. I did this one with my with my three-year-old. It's basic edition. And this printable comes with a variety of little cards that you can use and also little petals for the flower. Now, um, I didn't laminate these. If you wanna keep these for long time use, I suggest that you do, but these are tiny little pieces, but they've worked out fine this week with him and um, he really enjoyed it. So pretty much you just lay out your equation. I had, I start off with ones, one plus zero, and then we just put one petal. And then I explained zero means none. You don't need any petals. So one plus zero is one. And then we would find the one card here. I put them in little pots just to tie in the whole flower theme, which was really cute. And we had fun with that. So pretty much I kept the one in place and I just switched out another number here and we would just, he would count out the amount of petals. And that was our basic addition. You can go to the second step with this if you have a kindergartner or a first grader, if you're doing basic addition with them. And they have a math record form that goes along with this as well that you can write down the equations that you did. Here is a size sort for my two-year-old. I did small, medium, and large. Um, this printable is great. It's from My Three Dinosaurs. And pretty much I just cut out the pieces and had him sort these. I had them on a tray and it was a great activity for him to just learn about, you know, descriptive words, small, medium, and large, and just fine motor, fine motor skills and size sorting. This activity again, um, I use the same pots. I got these from the Dollar Tree. They have Play-Doh in them because they were playing with them for a few different activities as well. But I just got some pinto beans right from my pantry. Um, nothing crazy. And simply, we did a lot of things with this. With my six-year-old, we did multiplication with these. We did our three, so we did multiplication by three. So I used three flower pots and I had multiplication cards and I set one out and I said, you know, with two times three and he would put two beans in the three pots and then add them up um, three times five, three times six, three times seven, all the way up to three times 12. So he had a lot of fun doing multiplication with these pots. And for my three-year-old and two-year-old, just basic counting with these pots and counting by twos. Um, with these so that was very simple to do really easy just some dry goods some beans um, you have other larger seeds and then these little flower pots from the Dollar Tree that come three for a dollar in a pack another great printable from the same resource my three dinosaurs.com which one is different this pack has a number of activities that you can do so um, you can pick and choose which ones you want. This one I did with my two and three year old as well. I've been saving these um, tops to those little fruit pouches and um, I have about 50 of them. So now I'm using them for a number of activities. This one, I used it for them to cover the one that was different. So they would just simply cover whichever one it is that is different with the little tops. Very simple very easy for them to do and they really enjoy this activity as well you can use these things for a number of things you can use them for lacing because they can stick yarn or shoestring through here you can use these for 
color sorting if you have a variety of colors we only get two types so we only have two colors but I know a lot of other people get a lot of different varieties from different companies you can use them for 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 color sorting as well lots of things you can do with the little tops on those fruit pouches here's another activity for counting skip counting multiplication um color sorting these trays from the dollar tree are awesome and then we can use for a billion things you can do color sorting you can actually i taped cardstock one week to the inside of these and had my two-year-old sort butterflies by color um when we did bug week a couple weeks back this week i used them for multiplication again for my um six-year-old and for my three-year-old i did skip counting by twos with him um using the tongs again another fine motor skill activity as well as a math activity so you would just have them grab out the seed and he would put two seeds in the first one so that's two try to get four in one of them six eight so on and so forth so much fun for them all three of my kids can use this tray for a number of activities but we used it for bean counting and multiplication this week Another activity, all these things, all these printables came from, again, my3dinosaurs.com. I'll link it in the description box. Montessori um, uh, two-part cards. Um, first, we did the things that plants need to grow, sun, soil, rain, and air. And then we went into the seed life cycle, the life cycle of a plant starting from a seed. So we learned what a seed looked like. We went from seed, we went to germinating seed, we went to um, getting a stem and roots um, and leaves, to a flowering plant, to a pollinating plant. So we learned the life cycle of a seed using these cards. Wonderful resource. Again, what I did is I just put them out and put them on cardstock. I could go the extra mile to laminate, but they actually did really well with these and they held up great throughout the week. And then another part of it is then you can start to do a two part puzzle match. Again, cardstock on the back. There's about eight of these in the, in the printable. And what you can do is just scramble them all up and have the kids match them up and then ask questions. Okay, which part of the seed life cycle is this one? And then they'll say, oh, stem and roots. Which part of the life cycle is this? Oh, germinating seed. And all, all my kids had a blast with this, learning about the plant life cycle starting from a seed. And then the last activity I'm gonna show you um, is this one, very simple. I was inspired by Pinterest for this. Again, dollar store materials. I wrote with dry erase markers on these little pots. These pots come about 12 for a dollar because they're disposable pots. I put Play-Doh in each one of them. So this one over here actually has Play-Doh in it and that's what's holding the flowers down. I bought a dozen flowers from the Dollar Tree. So that's four bunches because there's three flowers on each. I bought these little textured ones because I just like the way that they looked. And what you do is just have the kids count the amount of flowers. Put a pot out with a little ball of Play-Doh in it and say, okay, we need nine flowers. Can you put nine flowers in here? And they would go one by one and put the nine flowers in there. Another counting you can do, again, you can also do multiplication with these. You can do skip counting with these as well, depending on how many flowers that you purchase. So they really love potting their flowers um, by, by number on that activity. So I hope all of these have been helpful to you just to get some ideas about what you can do um, if you're looking for something that's, you know, Earth Day or um, gardening or learning about plant life cycles. And I will link again the printables in the description box below. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful spring. Okay, bye.